Hi guys, after a long time, a new image generation AI model is here, and that is Hunyuan Image 2.1. It states that it understands complex prompts and can handle and precisely control the generation of multiple subjects in a single image. It also says that it ensures accurate text and intricate details are maintained in your images. We are going to test all of this by ourselves from the Comfy UI workflow. To use the resources to generate images from Hunyuan Image 2.1, you can go to Hugging Face and search for Hunyuan Image. Here, if you go to this repository, you will find the resources to create images using Hunyuan 2.1. For the diffusion models, we are not going to use the scaled versions, but we will be using the GGUF versions, so we can leave this part. For the text encoders, download these text encoders, and for the VAE, download any VAE from here. You will also find the GGUF version as well. I will put the link to all the resources in the description below. You will find the GGUF version on this page. If you go to the hardware compatibility section and add your hardware, in my case, I have a RTX 5070 Ti GPU of 16 GB VRAM. It suggests that the Q4KM version is the largest one compatible with my hardware, and that is the one I am using. It will show you the version suitable for your system. Once you enter your hardware details, you can download the recommended version accordingly. Now coming to the workflow, I have loaded the Q4KM version and we are using a dual clip loader with two text encoders. For the VAE loader, we are using the Hunyuan Image 2.1 VAE file. We are going to keep the steps at 20, and this is the prompt I am using a portrait of a red-haired Irish woman. This is to test the realism of human photos first. Let's see what output we get. And remember, we are generating this image in 2K. Now here is the output that we got for the prompt, and it does look good. This is in 2K, as we had set the width and height to 2048x2048, which makes it a 2K image. I didn't understand the part where it said that Hunyuan image can generate images in 2K. I believe any open source AI model can generate images in 2K. But what I believe the message here is that it can generate 2K images really fast. As we can see, Hunyuan Image 2.1 only took this much time to create a 2K image. Whereas, if you compare it with Quen Image AI, it took around three times longer than Hunyuan Image 2.1. As you can see here, I created this image with the help of Quen AI, and it took about three times the generation time. That is what I believe they mean when they say that Hunyuan Image 2.1 can create images in 2K. It means it can create 2K images very fast. Now here is another prompt that will again check for human realism. But in a different scenario, this time, a woman taking a selfie in a bedroom. Let's also test the writing of text on her shirt. This is the generation we got. To be fair, it looks good, but not very realistic. The plastic effect is not there, but I believe I have seen better and more realistic outputs from the likes of Juan 2.2. Now here is one last test, Simpson standing in the street. Here is the output, another decent one, I would say. The generation looks good, and the reflection of the light is also good. But I'll show you the output for the same prompt from Juan 2.2. See this from Juan 2.2. The Juan 2.2 output is just unbelievable. So I guess Hunyuan Image 2.1 is the latest image generation AI model out there, but for now, the best image generation AI model for me is Wan 2.2. If you want to check image generation with Wan 2.2, I have posted a video for that. You can go and check it out. If you want to compare the results of Hunyuan Image 2.1 with other open source image generative AI models out there, then you can come to the website compareai.ai. This is what the website is for to compare the outputs of different AI models side by side, and you can test yourself which image generative AI model is better. So like here, by this prompt, we are actually testing the human realism and the natural lighting in the photos. So here, if we select Hunyuan Image 2.1, then we can compare its output with other open source image generative AI models out there and decide for ourselves which one performed the best. You can select different prompts for different use cases. So like here, we are testing the text fidelity of the AI model. So if we select Hunyuan Image 2.1, we can see that for the bigger text, it is able to write the text well, but for smaller text, it fails. Whereas in comparison to these AI models, some of them are able to write smaller text. So just like this, you can compare different AI models out there. It is not just for image generative AI models. You can compare video generative AI models, image editing AI models, and different AI models. You can also check the benchmark scores. Like here, we can check the scores of different AI models out there. 
You can also check their benchmark scores after testing. You can see that for Hunyuan Image 2.1, it is good at prompt adherence, whereas in the case of hands and anatomy, it doesn't perform that well. And for lighting and shadow, it was fine. For human realism as well, it was fine, although you can compare it with other AI models out there. You can see that for Wan 2.2, the scores are brilliant. And here you can see that in terms of human realism, FluxCrea and Wan 2.2 perform the best. And that's all for this video. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and the website.